Welcome back, Jack, to another episode. I'm your host, Yen. How you been? Today, I want to talk about NFTs. Okay, I'm actually I'm actually able to say that word. Uh, apparently, you're not getting uh, uh, Googleified. <laughs> Googleified. <laughs> you're not getting. You're not. The scanners are not taking you down for that. So that's good. I can say it. So we're good there. I talk about, if you're new, by the way, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my podcast. This is a podcast that talks about books, uh, brains, and uh, blockchains, okay? I just want to give some emphasis on all each topic, okay? Books because I'm a writer. I make books. I make stories, okay? I tell stories. I'm working on a series right now. It is coming out as soon as it's finished. I want to have a couple books in before I actually put them out, Okay? Samples can be uh, read via my email, uh, my email link, my email list thing. You can check it out at fightnovel.com. Fightnovel.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom, put your best email in. You get some samples, okay? You get a little taste. And these are stories. Basically, I'm very good at the exclusive stuff. I don't do things again, okay? I don't repeat uh, a product. Uh, I make. A new story, basically, okay? So these are short stories you're going to get in the email inbox uh, when you send your email in. Now, that happens every month, every next month. So like another month, next month, you'll get another set of them. That's how I'm doing it now. Uh, right now, uh, more focused on the on the podcast and the channel. So if you do put it in now, once again, you won't get anything until uh, next month, all right? So today, I want to talk about this nonsense that has to do with the whole NFT hate. The hit NFT hate train. Okay. Man, listen. This has been stewing for a long time. Okay. A long time I've been thinking about this. And let me just tell you guys, I've been thinking about this, man. Listen, I've had a lot of feelings, a lot of fire in my belly about it. It <laughs> I'm gonna be civil. I'm gonna be civil. I'm gonna try and correctly right and calmly without cussing anybody out right uh, address every single concern that has to do with this okay i'm gonna just go from the top to the bottom all right i'm gonna start with this i'm gonna explain to you what the situation is if you're new you don't know what's going on what's going on is nfts have had a major pushback from only a small community i'm gonna tell you what that small community is in a minute a very small community, a very vocal community on Twitter, okay? Yeah, I don't see it anywhere else. Where, where they are elsewhere, they're very, you know, shut away, like Reddit. Reddit is, it is toxic, it is uh, a, a terrible place to be, but the best part about Reddit is that they tend to keep their, their toxicity there. Just, they stay there. The few who do try to bring it out, it's like the internet. It's like the internet is, has white blood cells, and they just attack, attack, attack until that toxicity goes right back to where it came from, slither right back onto the rocks. Okay, that's what happens. For some reason, when it comes to Twitter, it don't happen that way. The internet almost takes a knee to it sometimes, and they pay attention to it, which is you never do. Okay, you never ever give these people any of your any of your attention, any of your energy, any of your stuff. The reason why I'm talking about this is because we talk about brains and blockchains here, okay? We talk about mindset, okay? We talk about the blockchain. And I love talking about NFTs. It's one of my favorite things to do because it is a brand new market, okay? It's never happened before, but there are trends in it that has happened before. Like with them shadow dollars, okay? Like in the shadow world. It's all part of the shadow world, all right? And in the shadow world, you cannot be playing these games. It ain't going to end the way you think. Okay, crying in the dark is not going to help you. The dark will swallow you whole, okay? You can't be crying into the night about these NFTs. You look silly. Everybody laughing at you. We even have a meme about it. It's called have fun staying poor. That's what we do. We don't get mad. We don't get upset. We laugh at you. Do you understand that? That's why we don't even take it seriously. That's why I love it. It's one of the best communities in the world. I, hands down. Hands down. The Shadowverse is the most, it's the best community. Okay? It really is. And I mean that. It's one of the best communities, if not the best, because 
the mindset we have is so hands off and so healthy. It's like, look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, we're just gonna keep on being great. That's it. We don't get into, they don't get into a fight. We, we, we don't get into a whole thing. We know we have bigger fish to fry. We ain't got time for the crybabies. We try and get to be great. We try to make it to Mount Olympus and you not stopping us, okay? You're just not, it ain't gonna happen. Cry into the dark as you might. Have fun staying poor. Goodbye. That's the mentality, okay? I just want to let you know that. So let me just go ahead, and now that I've addressed that, all right, let's go ahead and address the concerns that they have. This small community, the comic book community, the comic book creator community uh, in the mainstream, the, a very legacy, you know, a legacy uh, environment, right? Legacy corporations, corporate culture, basically. They don't want to say, they don't want to admit that they're a cor corporate culture, but they're absolutely a corporate corporate culture. They're like they're like the dregs of the corporate culture. If the, if the corporate culture is a city, right, a shining city like Metropolis or whatever, they're like the dregs of it, right? Like the bottom, the bottom of the bottom, like just the slugs in the in the nastiest place, the filthiest alleyway in the ghettoist of ghettos. There, okay. So that's where they are. I see them there and I'm just like, okay, whatever. I don't even get mad. You can't. You just look at them and you kind of feel a little a little sad for them. You know what I mean? You feel sad. You feel, you really do feel sad. You're like, wow, look at that. Look at these people. Have fun. Staying poor. See you later. Literally. You literally are like, I'm making money. I don't know what to tell you. You can cry about the environment. It ain't going to do you no good. We're going to talk about that, by the way. All little concerns, we're going to talk about that. I know I've been saying it, but I will. I don't know what to tell you guys. You know, when they cry, I laugh. It's just, it just is what it is. So for me, it's like, I mean, I'm enjoying life. You can cry about it. I, I'll, take, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you this. It's like with Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate said it best. Why should I adopt the mentality of somebody who's losing in life? Why should I adopt the mentality of somebody who's sad in life? Why would I want to do that? Goodbye. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just, I want a winner's mindset. I'm going to stay winning. Okay, that's just life. All right? Now, I know that's going to sound like, oh, that's an attack. It's the truth. The, there's, there's an attack and then there's the truth. The truth is they not making money. They're not making good money. They're miserable. They're living unhealthy lives. They're always living a fearful life. It's sad. I feel bad for them. That's all I can say. But here is me going to attack the actual topic, which is the concerns with the whole health thing, the whole health of the environment. It's a myth, okay? And here's why. Now, there are parts of it that I can understand where they're coming from, where they're saying, oh, NFTs, they're hurting the environment because blah, 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 right? There is a truth in that NFTs are electronic. They do spend energy. They are in the blockchain. They do have to use multiple nodes, right? Multiple areas to check and make sure the NFT is legit, right? That's the whole point of it. The whole point of a blockchain is a bunch of sources confirming its existence, that it is true, that it is real, right? That is the whole point. Congratulations, guys. You understand what a blockchain is, right? When they complain, I'm just like, congratulations. You understand the very, very basic concept of what a blockchain is. Confirming that something exists, that it was made on this date, that it was created with this amount of currency, it was minted with this amount of ETH or whatever, uh, crypto, oh, shouldn't say that word, uh, whatever shadow bucks you're using, that's the whole point, okay? Whatever you're using, we get it. Okay, cool, you're doing that, blah, 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 blah. Great, fantastic. What my problem is, when they're saying this is uh, hurting the environment, I'm sitting there like, okay, so you're complaining about this feature of the entire network. Okay, let's look at what else uses literally the same amount of energy, okay? You're using the cloud. If you're on YouTube, you're using the cloud. If you're using an iPhone, you're using the cloud. If you have an Apple product, you're using the cloud. All of those things do the same thing. It confirms, and even more so, it downloads. It's even more used of the environment by downloading, okay? When you confirm something as an NFT, confirming, you're not downloading anything. All you're doing is checking. It is a query check. 
It's not a download, okay? You're <laughs> the level of ignorance that has to do with NFTs is just phenomenal. Like the basic Google search would have told you that. Like, hey, this is not the same. Here's why. Here's why. Like the the <laughs> you think that an NFT is uses more energy doing that than it is you uploading a video, downloading a video for Netflix, what, downloading a whole video for Netflix, a movie, a TV series. Are you kidding me? Come on. What are you doing? Wake up. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and look at the next thing that they're talking about, which uh, something I have to say. You ever notice this community always complains about something that has to do with their fellow people advancing in life? I noticed that. It's like a crabs in a bucket mentality. I just have to say that. It just, it, I find it interesting that that's what they're doing. Like, I see right through it, right? That it's, if, if, for example, if there's Alex and another guy named Joe, and Joe decides, hey, I'm gonna try this thing and elevate my life, Alex is gonna go nuts and just start tweeting about how it's bad, about all this stuff, right? Not doing any fact checking of his own. Not doing any fact checking, not a single thing. Just, oh my God, just go in there and just start talking trash about it. And then anybody else go, uh, you know, is into it, they go after them, right? It's interesting seeing them eat each other alive. It's just fascinating. It really is so transparently a, you know, uh, crab bucket mentality. And that's, you really learn who your friends are. If your friends don't want you to succeed in life, right? If they absolutely, believe that their political belief, this political belief they have, and it is a political belief, right? It's not even a truth one. It's not even a true one. It's not even one that's backed by fact. It's a belief they have. That's all they got is a belief because the thing that they're, they're making the claim that it's doing is not true, okay? It's completely fictional, right? The fact that they find that more important than their friend, you know, making money, making ends meet, succeeding, trying to do something of worth, trying to take their business to the next level, trying to get it off the floor, trying to pay the bills. The fact that they <laughs> that they see it this way and not like, hey, I, I support you, even though maybe I don't agree with what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. I support you to becoming the, a better version of yourself, right? God bless you or whatever, whatever you believe in, right? You don't even think that. You think, hey, my political value is more important. This this belief I have is more important than my friendship with you, right? My my colleagueship with you, my uh, work relationship with you, right? The fact that they think that, it should tell you, hey, this person is, is not only toxic, but they're dangerous for your business. That is someone you cut off right away, in my opinion. Right off the gate, I would have cut that person off immediately. If you want to succeed in life, cut that person off. Uh, I talk a lot about mindset. I talk about a lot of uh, things about getting your mind right. Right? Follow. Check out. Check out my. Check out my videos. It'll help you get there. Uh, anyways, my next point. My next point <laughs> is make your own sacrifices and show that you care. Why don't these people do that? Why don't they actually cut off all that stuff that they're using? All power. Go get a cabin in the woods. Right? Go rent one if you can't afford one. Go rent a cabin. It's not that expensive. It's actually it's less it's cheaper than rent, right? It's cheaper than rent right now. I'll tell you that right now. You can get you can get a cabin, uh you can get a nice cabin. Not like the best cabin, but a nice one, a decent one. In a, in the Midwest, you know, for less than what uh an apartment in uh, a big city would cost. That's for sure. Anyways, so you can do that and then live that and live the life. You can work on a farm. Go work on a farm. Quit what you're doing, go work on a farm. Now you're helping the environment. Because you're, you're growing, like, you know, gardens, beautiful gardens. You're working on the farmland. That's going to help the environment. I mean, what are you doing? You're not, these people are LARPers. I don't, I don't, I don't see them as serious. They're not serious. These are not serious people. You know, they're just talking on Twitter, LARPing all day. I'm just like, dude, these people are pathetic. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to say it. This is pathetic. Okay? Stop. You guys have to grow up. Be adults. Okay? If you know how, <laughs> assuming you know how, be adults. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna say, well, there's two more things, but I'm gonna say one thing first. Corporate PSYOP. I think this is a big corporate PSYOP. Where did this idea come from? Where did 
this concept of NFTs hurt the environment. Where did it come from? Where did it come from? When you follow the trail, you will find you will find out. I'm not going to say go follow the money, okay? Go find where all the articles have been written about it, who's funding it, okay? I'm telling you, man, they are keeping these people poor. They figured it out. They said these guys are uh, easy to manipulate, okay? It's just like when corporations target certain people and they realize, oh, well, we can milk these people. So they start making more content for those people so they can buy more product just blatantly and they don't even care. They just know it's, it's just so transparent. Like, I was like, wow, really? You guys are doing that? Anyways, it's just interesting to me. I find, I see, I see them. I see what they're doing. Uh, I would recommend definitely, uh, in my opinion, I would recommend, <laughs> I would recommend, uh, following the money. If any, any point in time you have a belief and you're not sure where it came from, go follow the money. Okay. Uh, if it's not your own, I'll tell you that right now. That's why I tell y'all, take that shadow pill, bro. Go your own way. Go your own path. Be a trailblazer. Do not go down the beaten path. The beaten path is beaten for a reason. That's representing your life. Getting beaten down. <laughs> Don't be a wagey woe jack like these people. They stand on the plantation and they love it. I'm just like, yo, this is embarrassing. I, I feel bad for them. I truly do. And when I say that, I know I'm harping on it. But I really do feel bad for them. Because it must really suck to have this mindset that does not serve you. To have these limiting life beliefs. To have these beliefs that you think the world is like this when it has nothing to do with that. Like you've been fed a lot and you live in it. It's like, dude, you done. You've been done, bro. You've been had. That's, man. Anyways, next thing I want to say and the final thing I want to say. NFTs. They ain't going nowhere. Okay? They're not going anywhere. All right? Get used to it. They not going anywhere, all right? The shadow realm is here. The shadow realm. <laughs> the shadow realm, what is this? Oh my God, what is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, listen, the shadow world, it ain't going nowhere, okay? Them dark dollars are here to stay, okay? This is just another avenue to hold value. The dollar is dead. It's not going anywhere. Fiat is over, bro. It's over, okay? You can live the life you want to live and believe whatever you want to believe, but at the end of the day, the reality is there's too many platforms, too many platforms ho like holding these things, right? Giving availability to this market, this new market, okay? Coinbase got one, uh, FTX working on one, Solana got one, you name it, FTM, they're working on one. Yo, you are not going to win. You are not going to win, okay? There are too many avenues to go now. This is to stay. I will be very surprised. I will be very, very surprised, especially with these young kids who are buying NFTs, making them, trading them. Like, I would be super, super surprised if this thing went away within 10 years, five years, 10 years, five to 10 years. That's usually the test if something will stay or go. It's not going anywhere, bro. It's not. If anything, it's only going to get bigger. It's only going to get more prominent. You're going to look silly. You're going to be the new slave. I I'm telling you now, it's just like what I, my theory was before about Satoshis. Satoshis will become the dollar. Okay, that's the truth. Satoshis will be seen and valued like a dollar. And just like somebody else said, you know, before, the new slave class. The new slave class going to happen. And that, what I mean by that is the new, you know, wagey wojacks are going to be earning Satoshis. That's going to be these people. They're going to be earning Satoshis and they're going to be mad as heck that an NFT costs more than what they make. And what I mean by that is I'm talking about an NFT costs more than their check. A whole check. Not just like, oh, uh, a couple hundred dollars. No, 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 no. We're talking about your month salary is going to be worth less than an NFT. That's what's going to end up happening. So again, just like everybody said before, have fun staying poor. I, I don't have any problem with it. Because again, it's your life. Do what you want. Live the way you want. Go your own path. And if you, and if you don't, it is your own path. At this point, whatever you do, you are 100% responsible for. Okay? You are responsible for your ignorance. You're responsible for your willful ignorance. And I can't feel that bad. I truly can't. If you don't want to understand something, that's fine. But that's a choice. You telling and spreading around, crying about, oh my God. Uh, no, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. It's a L-O-L.
L situation. It ain't going nowhere. Grow up. And that's it for today. If you like this one, <laughs> hit the like button. Thanks so much for listening. Appreciate your time. Have a great day.